everyone. This is Leadbetter 17P. We have a juice review for you guys today from DeepBlueJuiceCompany.com. Uh, it's DeepBlueJuice.com is their website. Uh, it says established 2014, made in Texas, right there at the very bottom of that card. Uh, their website is DeepBlueJuice.com. All right. So the juice we are going to review today for them is called The Abyss. Uh, according to the uh, flavor profile on my little cheat sheet here, it says the Abyss is a fresh berry mix. Uh, it says it's a four-part complex, complex mix fused with pomegranate, blackberries, kiwi, and a touch of acai. So, uh, pretty much it's a, it's a mixed berry. Uh, so, it's actually a pretty decent juice has a real nice smell when you open the bottle it actually smells like um, you know when you open like a container of like a frozen juice or whatever the liquid frozen juices like the Welch's ones and you smell it that's kinda what it reminds me of those mixed juices it reminds me of that concentrate but um, we're gonna talk about uh, three different things uh, bottle packaging vapor production and uh, flavor in this review so let's we'll start with bottle packaging. Uh, the bottle, great, awesome labels, glass bottle, dripper, child safety cap. Uh, has your nicotine levels right there, which they they carry zero, three, six, twelve, and eighteen. Uh, this is a three milligram bottle. Uh, this is a fifteen mil bottle. Ranges about twelve dollars on their website. And uh, let's see, has warning labels right there under the title of the juice has an ingredients label as well so definitely a 10 out of 10 on their bottle packaging uh, definitely a huge plus for them let's get in frame here a little bit there we go um, so definitely a 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging so uh, we're going to talk about vapor production now we have this loaded up in my uh, Plumevale RDA on my copper Pegasus mod I am running a uh, Clapton coil build, a dual Clapton coil build that I think ranges out to about a 0.5 ohm, if I remember right. But this is a dual Clapton coil build. Uh, Got to make sure my RDA is not leaking. I have it over full at the moment, which is unfortunate. All right, we're all lined up, ready to go. I already have it loaded up. We're using organic cotton as always. So let's go ahead and talk about vapor production. Uh, now keep in mind, these are Clapton coils. They're more for flavor. Uh, these Clapton coils that I have in here don't really throw a, ch uh, a whole lot of vapor, at least not on this mod. If I was to put them on my box mod, uh, they'd throw way more vapor, but we'll uh, go ahead and give it a vape. Still not bad, even being a uh, Clapton coil build. Uh, I'm not really crazy on Clapton coils, to be honest. This was just a kind of, I wanted to build it, see if I could do it kind of thing. Uh, for this build, the vapor production is good. It's decent. Um, like I said, if it was on a regular build, like a .2 or a .8 or whatever, on my box mod, it would chuck a ton of vapor. So I will still give them a 10 out of 10 on their vapor production. Uh, so... 10 out of 10 bottle packaging, 10 out of 10 vapor production is where we're at so far. Uh, now, flavor. It's a mixed berry. Uh, like I said, according to the cheat sheet, says pomegranate, blackberries, kiwi, and a touch of acai. Um, I get the blackberry flavor right off the bat. Uh, it sticks out to me, and I get a bit of the kiwi. And there's another flavor there uh, that I'm not really sure what it is. I don't know if it's the acai or the pomegranate. Uh, I've never actually had either of those in real life, so I don't know what they taste like. So, um, so I'm thinking it's one of those two. But I definitely get the blackberry and the uh, kiwi. So we'll go ahead and give it another vape. This is a nice little cloud for you guys. 
Uh, definitely flavor on this one, I'm actually going to give an 8 out of 10. Uh, it's not a favorite for me. I'm not a big mixed fruit flavor person. Um, I like usually like one or two flavors. I don't like four or five flavors mixed together because it just it gets too confusing for your taste buds, in my opinion. But I will still give it a 8 out of 10 because it is a decent flavor. Uh, the blackberry actually does taste very good. Uh, the kiwi, I don't really care for kiwi flavor at all in juices, but the blackberry sets it off enough to where the aftertaste of the kiwi is not all that bad. It actually complements it very, very well. And then, like I said, that third bit of flavor I get in there, I'm not sure if it's the pomegranate or the acai. I'm not sure at all. But um, definitely, I'll give that an 8 out of 10 on flavor. So we have a... 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging, a 10 out of 10 on vapor production, and an 8 out of 10 on flavor. So there you guys go. That is the look at Deep Blue Juice Company's uh, juice called The Abyss. Check them out, deepbluejuice.com, and you can order your bottle there. Uh, like I said, a 15 mil bottle like this one here that I have is around $12 or so on their website, uh, which is a pretty good deal. Uh, I think, in my opinion. So, check them out, deepbluejuicecompany.com. So if you guys like what you see, go ahead and click that like button down below. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. And don't forget to share and subscribe. So until next time, this is Leadbetter17P. Keep on vaping.